All right, guys, so as you can see, I sold my motorcycle. And also, I sold the uh, the silver racing heart wheels that I had. I just took off my uh, my Varstowens because the uh, the wheel bearing is actually really loose. But I tightened the axle nut, and then it kind of it went away. So I need to just get some uh, Loctite, and I'm gonna throw it all together, do the other side as well. I'm glad I caught it now because uh, I mean the pin right here would have saved it from completely coming out and then having the hub like you know totally just kill itself but it was really loose and i'm sure that's like you know a solid percentage of where i was getting my wheel hop from i checked the other side it was loose as well but uh definitely not as bad as this side but um so yeah glad i sold the uh sold the motorcycle i also sold those wheels like i said getting over to this thing um, I ordered the, uh, the replacement studs, but I didn't touch upon in the last video that I actually, I broke another stud that's in here, and I've been trying to use an extractor to get it out, but it's in such a weird angle, and, uh, you know, I can't really see what I'm doing, that I just, I just can't really get a good grip on it, like you can see all my extractors, all my damn tools on the, on the car, but, uh, this is the junk fender anyway, so I don't really care, but, you know, you still have to get that uh, exhaust stud out, and I still have to order the uh, the manifold gasket. I think I'm going to do that soon, probably within the next couple of days. And uh, over here, just have the uh, stock exhaust manifold, or turbo manifold. Got the turbo on there. I'm going to actually replace the, uh, the turbo gasket as well, and I broke the uh, retaining clips. For these bolts just so that they don't uh, get loose by themselves but uh yeah so so as far as the uh, whole turbo upgrade thing goes i think i'm just going to remain stock for this season uh, i really plan on going to some events this this year i mean no, i only went to one last year and that kind of sucked so uh, i plan to just you know keep the car stock keep it healthy and running and uh you know just try to get some real seat time because I don't know. I really miss driving this thing. I drive the, uh, I drive a Jeep Patriot every day. I'm not saying it's a bad car. I love it, but you know, it's not as exciting as driving this. But uh, have the old KA ra KA radiator right here, completely beat up. Like, hold on. Let's see if I can show you guys the, uh, the damage. Let me cut real quick. So yeah, this thing is just totally beat up. I mean, it wasn't leaking at all. So none of the actual, the the coolant passages were, were broken, but the heat, the heat sink between each passage was just totally, totally messed up. Like that's where I had one of the fans mounted and it got loose right here as well. And it just started making a hole through bumps and whatever when I would hit like a rough patch, but I don't know. I did the tucked rad, and I really just kind of wish I did this instead and cut the rad, you know, accordingly. Because, uh, I don't know, I think this is a little bigger. And this actually gets a little closer to the, uh, to the clutch fan, you know, for better cooling. But, I don't know, whatever, we'll see. If the car still overheats with, the, uh, with that tucked rad right there, then I'll have to probably get a different ISR rad. And maybe I think I'll just hold on to this one or get rid of it. And also, everyone's always like, check out my dream garage, whatever. Look at this mess. Loving it. I don't know where half my screwdrivers are. I only have flatheads now. But uh, my neighbors happen to be throwing out this uh, nifty little like TV stand or something. But it had some shelves in it. So I took it and I made good use of it. So, I don't know, I kind of considered buying something like a like a, like a, uh, a little fold up plastic bench or you know, maybe even just making one myself, but you know, you can't beat free. All right guys, so hopefully I didn't disappoint too many of you with the, uh, with the stock turbo news. Hopefully uh, you guys can 
forgive me for that kind of like, you know, um, what is it? I'm trying to think. Hopefully I didn't lead any of you guys on with that, uh, with the big turbo news. I know a lot of you guys were kind of excited about that. Um, as you can see, engine still needs some work. Got that wire on my head. But uh, hopefully I'll be uh, working on it soon and definitely have it running in time for uh, opening moves or spring moves at Club Loose. So thanks for watching guys and uh, take it easy.